What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So today we are looking at 1.18 Experimental Snapshot 4 and in this snapshot they made a few minor tweaks to world generation and also changed up some of the block uh, spawning in different areas of the world and things like that. Also, these small islands in the middle of big crater lakes are looking more and more common and I really enjoy those so I hope they stick around for the final version of the 1.18 update. If you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. We cover everything Minecraft, including new updates, SMPs, mods, and so much more, so stick around and check us out. Alright, let's jump right into today's video. So, obviously, microbiomes are still a problem that they are encountering uh, with this new world generation. They are trying to reduce them, and there are a lot less of them this time, but they still do occur somewhat. Let's go ahead and look at all the changes that they made in this week's snapshot. So they tweaked some changes to the temples, uh, desert temples will now be partially buried, they changed that last week and had them so that they are spawning on top of the sand, and jungle temples uh, will no longer spawn over water. I did actually see this when I was touring a world last week that a jungle temple was directly over an ocean uh, next to a jungle rather than actually in the jungle so I'm glad they fixed that. Badlands and deserts are larger and less likely to show up as ugly microbiome splotches. This I'm not really sure about because they still show up a lot as microbiome splotches. As we can see here, this is one of the ones I found today. I actually found a lot of them. So uh, I don't really think that the Badlands have been reduced. I did find less desert ones, however, so hopefully they fix that. These uh, Badlands splotches though, they do look pretty cool. So I'm really not mad that they're still showing up because this one specifically looks incredible and I wouldn't want it out of my world. Next up, they made biome placement a bit smoother and less noisy, which should result in fewer microbiomes. I do think there are fewer this week, but they do still happen a lot. And as we've already seen, there have been two pretty major ones in the world that I'm touring already and a lot more that I don't show you guys. So they definitely have some work to do with microbiomes still, but honestly, they look cool and these are still experimental snapshots. Made snowy slopes less dirty again, for real this time. And this is real. I've actually toured one of the biomes uh, that they're talking about with this and it is pure white. It looks amazing and I'll show you guys right after we finish up talking about these. Uh, they also made extreme hills terrain less unextreme and fiddled with the placement of shattered terrain and extreme hills in general to make them fit in with the terrain better. They also reduced the likelihood of rivers being cut off and turning into steep dry river gorges in mountain terrain. Instead, rivers will tend to either carve a fjord through the mountain range or raise the terrain to form a saddle valley. This was actually talked about a lot by the developers on Twitter and I'll actually show you guys a few pictures of what they're talking about specifically right here. So this is the riverbed that you would normally see before and of course this is kind of a weird formation. You have a riverbed but no river and it's just annoying to cross but what they actually turn that into is this. So as you can see, the river just continues on and on, and this is actually a great feature. I think uh, they've actually made rivers last longer and it looks amazing, especially when you're touring around the world. Of course, they also talked about these saddles. So this is the other feature that they're gonna show. And instead of the riverbed, it's just a higher terrain generation. And so you have less of the river bed just being out there for no reason. I really like these changes and I'm glad that they're made. It definitely changes up rivers a lot and makes them much cooler in my opinion. Next up, they reduced the number of diorite and andesite and granite blobs on the surface, which should reduce the spray paint look on stone sh shores and such. And stone shores sometimes generate layers or strips of gravel, diorite, and andesite, and granite, so you're still going to see it there, but it's not going to be as much. Sony Peaks will also generate uh, gravel, calcite, and I say in granite. So calcite is now gonna be in the stony peaks as well, so you're not gonna have to look for geodes in order to find them. This is a great change for calcite because it's gonna be much more common and easier to find, and it's a great building block. And as we can see from this user on Twitter, calcite is now spawning in the stony peaks, and it looks very cool in the actual stony peaks itself great news is they've added more iron so you're still most likely gonna have to go caving or mountain climbing to find it but you're gonna form, find more iron when you do. Finding iron was a huge problem before because the new world generation made it so that you're actually gonna find less so they've added more and they've added the large ore veins as well so you're gonna be able to find the same amount of iron that you were before but in these new world generations. 
And of course, they are still trying to make swamps happy. So they tweak swamp placements just a little bit uh, so that they're less likely to extend as far out from the coastline now and rivers and swamps tend to be shallower. They've also added bigger copper blobs in dripstone caves. So if you want more copper, go to the dripstone caves and you're gonna find more copper as well. Or you can go find a large copper ore vein. So not as many changes this week as we have seen in previous weeks and actually no tweaks to mob spawning which is very interesting. They are leaving them spawning at the uh, 1.17 Y64 levels throughout the entire world and honestly I think they're going to change that a lot later on so I find that they're focusing just on the world generation for now. Especially since world generation is looking so cool. We have very cool village placements, even Henrik on Twitter tweeted out some photos of some village placements that look insane. And then we also have these huge mountains on the side of rivers that look absolutely insane. These whole areas are very cool to me and I love just flying right down the middle of them. It'll be especially fun once I start up survival in these worlds and start just making things across these as well. I think that's going to be a very cool experience for players to have completely new world generation, not only these rivers, but across the entire terrain. Of course, the end and the nether are still having problems, but these are of course experimental snapshots still, so there's still a long time before we have an actual final update. The developers have been doing a lot of experimentation, and this is one of the pictures they tweeted out, which is what happens when aquifers have too much control in a world. I think this also looks very cool, especially with the floating islands and waterfalls, but of course this is not going to be in the final Minecraft update. So we've talked about all the changes in the new update, but let's actually look at some of the world generation. So I showed you guys a picture of this placement before, and I thought it was very cool, but it was actually located in a very cool area as well. So right here we have a microbiome badlands, not only in a desert, but also in the middle of a lake. And then right next to it, we also have a sand village right on the water, which is a nice placement as well. But then we also have a jungle with a lot of stony shores. So this is something I mentioned before, and that is stony shores have kind of taken over the beaches. Uh, they are very big and uh, very flat, I think. So I think we're going to see some changes to them in the future because there are a lot more of them than there used to be. Uh, but this whole stony shores and jungle area, especially with these small microbiome badlands, looks insanely cool. This whole area is something that's probably not going to be in the final update, but it does look very cool for now and I'm glad we're seeing these experimental snapshots come out before we start getting uh, these things taken out of the game. Right next to this whole jungle area as well was this very cool section with aquifers. and. They talked about aquifers taking over, but this is how they're supposed to look in the actual game, and I think they look crazy cool. Aquifers and localized water levels are some of the coolest features in the new update. I really like how we get spawning like this with actual four different water levels, but we also have cool new things like village placements, which can go on top of mountains and other crazy places that I think make the update a whole lot cooler. Some crazier features are like this ravine in this jungle and ocean, and the ravine just goes straight down into the water. And we can actually go and look right here and see that the water is just free flowing into the ravine and to the actual whole cave opening. The cave openings in the new experimental snapshots are definitely uh, very experimental so far. There are some oddities, but I think they're still very cool, especially this one spawning right in the middle of this kind of jungle island because it kind of opens up to the ocean and just looks very interesting. A lot of interesting things happen in these experimental snapshots, this being one of them. I'm not sure if this is a microbiome or what caused this exactly, but I think it looks insanely cool to have just a single piece of dirt and a tree out in the middle of all this ice. The final thing that I want to show off is how much cleaner these snow biomes are. As you can see, this is just pure white, you know, a little bit of grass, things like that but they've made them much cleaner and I think it looks very cool and it's definitely a very interesting addition to Minecraft. It's great seeing all this snow in the actual new world generation. That is all that we have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, comment what your favorite thing about the new world generation is. Is it the caves? Is it the actual shores? Is it the microbiomes? What is it? Let me down know in the comment sections down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.